it's been a while, hasn't it? But I'm out again, out in the woods. This time, in a tent. OEX, Bobcat 1, complete with OEX, Expedition Tarp. And as you might be able to hear, it's needed this evening. But uh, there we go. I'm out with a few friends who are over in that direction there. Probably don't really want to be on film, so I won't film them. I'll just sit here and uh, film. <coughs> but uh, yes, as you can see, I'm set up. I've got uh, in there with Trichology sleeping mat and British Army lightweight sleeping bag. It's a fantastic bag, it really is. Doesn't take up an awful lot of room in the pack. And they've been nice and warm so far. Okay, so what can I say? Um it's almost time to put some dinner on. So let's see if we can have a little look around camp, see what we've got. So you go, it's a bit more of my setup. I'm over here with a little um, arrangement. Get the bag up off the ground. You might be able to hear that rain coming through the trees. Let's have a look, see what's in the food bag for tonight. This is what we're having for dinner tonight. Bacon and kidney pie and mashed potato. Now, got the saucepan here, which is on the Trendia triangle with a gas uh, adapter. Inside the saucepan is a little rack. The idea is we put the pie on the rack, low gas, and it uh, just let it cook or heat through. Don't need to cook it because obviously that's already cooked in those boxes. That's a bit of mash in the pot there. A cup of water there which will uh, go on to boil and we just add just add hot water. So I'll bring you back when I start doing that. Right, time to cook some dinner. So, in this pot, which was shown earlier, is on top of the Tranger Triangle with the uh, gas burner. Tranger gas burner, that is. And we've got a little rack. All I'm going to do is open this pie box. And pop. <coughs> Pop the pie on the uh, rack, put the lid on, find me lighter, put it in my pocket. Yes, <sighs> turn on the gas, just low, a bit more than that. There we go. Don't need a lot of heat. Sit that there. Give it 10 20 minutes and then I'll check on it. So while that's cooking, the other ingredient is this mash pot. Basically it's smash in a pot. And just needs topping up with some boiling water. So, if we come around this side, there you can 
can see my Crusader hooker and mug. Well, you've got some water in there. Might as well have a cup of tea or something while I'm at it. And you just light the moths in there. There we go. You can see that's a light. That's not a transier burner. That's the cheapest one I could find on Amazon. Uh, so far it seems to take ages to bloom. But, uh, probably we've all seen these uh, things before. It's hold that over. the water on top wait for it to boil yes it needs a lid that's one the thing um yes that's about it for now until something happens we can't do much I'm forgetting I've got that microphone on the shirt which seems to be working. So just while I'm waiting for things to cook and to prepare my cup, got a where are we? A lat caramel. Can I have one cooking? Well, as soon as the water's boiled at least. Uh, Incidentally, I hope you can hear me all right with this, uh, on this camera. Just bought some new microphones. Well, had them a little while. First time really using them. Hope they work all right. Have a check on this. Yep, they're working all good. So, that's all we can do for the time being. I'm well, just about to come to a boil here. So let's prepare the mash. I'm clearing off the lid. Let's say it's a uh, smash like with a line there. Bring that all the water up to there, give it a stir. Won't be long till that's boiled. Nice and simple. Pie over the other side here. It's feeling nice and warm to the touch. That soon be time to dish out. Fantastic. I do love cooking outdoors. There we go, we want a boil. Let's do the um, mash first. If I can get it on the camera, I don't quite know how it's a bit awkward. Let's that up. To the line. Pour the rest in the cup over here. Then if I can lift this up. And find the snuffer. Yeah, 
eventually see if I brought the Trangier one out that wouldn't have uh, needed all that. Right, turn my attention to the mash, which will need a bit of a stir. Oh, look at that lovely stuff. Oh. I think really I should have stirred that a bit sooner. But never mind. Um, find the plate and then if I transfer the camera back over here yep it feels nice and warm so we can turn that out And there we go, iron mash in the woods. Hopefully, it'll be quite nice. And we will find out after I've eaten it. So, well, as you can see, nice clean plate. So that's clean as you can get out here. And get some wipes out of the bag in a moment or two. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy my coffee. Well, I thought we'd give the mics a proper test. Camera is well back, as you can probably tell. And here I am. <clears throat> it's um, getting dark. Well, it's getting dark. It's yeah, quarter past eight. And uh, being amongst all these trees, it does get darker sooner. Plus with the rain that we've had. Yes, got a little light up there, as you can probably see. Also got one inside the tent there that you can't see at the minute because it's not on. So and also this hat is clever because yeah, there's a light built into the peak. So plenty good enough for illuminations. Although it's not going to be blackpool round here obviously. So um yes all in all I'm going to settle down for a nice evening, quite chilled, might go and join the chaps over there in a bit, and uh, see where we go. So if nothing else happens this evening, I'll bring you back at bedtime. Bye for now. Well, that's it. Camp's all done. Back in the car now, as you can tell. Sorry I didn't get the film anymore. The, um, it was too dark when I got back to the tent, so I missed out on saying goodnight. Uh, yes, and would you believe me lights ran out of batteries? So, I should charge them before I came out. Never mind. That's the first job when I get home. So, it's been a good camp. Um, can't wait to do it again. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.